Hi, hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to use algebraic approach or horizontal line test to determine whether the function is one to one. Look at these graphs. On the left graph, as you can see, the line y equals to k intersect the graph at one point only. Therefore, in this case, f is 1 to 1. Where on the right graph, as you can see, the line y equals to k intersect the point intersect the graph at two points. So therefore, in this case, f is not 1 to 1. In the other hand, we can see that we can say that in order to be one to one, the intersection must be at one point only. If more than one, we consider that it is not one to one. The concept of this one to one cons one to one is very useful to determine whether the given function has an inverse or not. We will, we will cover this concept of inverse in subtopic 5.3. So now, we try to solve this question using horizontal line test to determine whether the function is 1 to 1. Also, we we'll try to use an algebraic approach. Let's try to use an algebraic approach first. So to use algebraic approach, we will substitute the x with x1 on the left side of the equation and x with x2 on the right side of the equation, like this. Then, the first step after we substitute x with x1 and x2 is by cancel out the constant 9 on the both sides of the equation. Then we will obtain 7x1 equals to 7x2. And then further we can cancel out the coefficient of x1 and x2. So leaving only x1 and x2. In this case, if we can prove that x1 equals to x2 only, then we can conclude that f is 1 to 1. Then we'll try to use horizontal line test like the one in the previous slide. So in order to do this, we need to sketch the graph of the function first. So 7x plus 9 is a linear function. We know that the positive gradient 7 and intersect at 9. So more or less the graph will be like this. So this is our fx. And then sketch line y equals 2k. Then circle out that intersection at one point only. So write down here line y equals to k intersect at one point only. So remember one point we conclude that f is one to one. So we will get the same conclusion as the one that using L L algebraic approach. So, the conclusion here is, for linear function, it is one-to-one -one function. Right, next for question B, the function given is a quadratic function, that is 3 minus 4x squared. So, this is quadratic. So, remember how to use algebraic approach? So, again, we need to replace x with x1 on the left side of the equation 
and x with x2 on the right side of the equation. And then, we will cancel out the constant 3 here. So, leaving on the, the term of uh, x squared, which is negative 4 x1 squared here, and negative 4 x2 squared here. And then, we can cancel out the coefficient. So, leaving only x1 squared equals to x2 squared. So, how we cancel out the square? So, in order to do this, we will bring the square to the right side. So, what happened to the right side of the equation? So, we become square root of x2 squared. So, remember what happened to square root of square? Square root square. So, it will become plus minus x2. Okay. It can be positive x2 or negative x2. So, here since we have two values. So therefore, f is not 1 to 1. Because in order to be 1 to 1 function, x has to be one value only. That is x2 only. Not. Eh? f is not 1 to 1. So how about horizontal line test? Right. So remember, in order to use horizontal line test, we need to sketch the graph. So here is quadratic and we have negative 3 right here. Negative 4 right here. So negative 4 means the gradient is negative. Sorry, uh, the curve will be up and down. Okay. Or well, some say set in the secondary school, right? And then we don't have a con co uh, term of x here, right? Only constant 3. So it means that three here will become our y intersect. So this is x and y axis. Remember, if you want to use horizontal line test, you have to sketch the graph completely with with the label of the both axes. Eh? Right, so this is fx and then sketch line y equals to k. So this is line y equals to k. And then write the conclusion below here. Line y equals to k intersect. Uh, don't forget, circle out, we have two intersection here. So, intersect at two points. So, therefore, F is not one to one. Okay. So, remember, if you have two intersection or two values in algebraic approach, the function is not one-to-one. -one. All right.